So, Freunde, wir befinden uns jetzt hier im zweiten Kapitel. Und zwar haben wir Bone Town gefunden. Wir mussten ja das Fahrrad zuletzt äh, zusammenstellen. Bei ihm hier im Haus, bei dem guten Mann. Ich weiß gar nicht mehr, wie er heißt hier. Und äh, das Einzige, was wir jetzt noch haben, sind hier ein paar Br Briefe. Geld haben wir. Unser Fahrrad liegt hier irgendwo in der Ecke. Wenn wir uns auf die Klappe gelegt haben, als wir ja reingerauscht sind, weil wir vergessen haben, Bremsen zu installieren. Das ist, wenn ich hier lang gehe. Ah, super. Ich dachte schon, äh, dann reist er einfach zurück. Das wäre echt Mist. So, was haben wir denn? Wir haben noch Geld. Brunnen können wir uns mal angucken. I could pick all the weeds and try to fix it, but I'm not here for that reason. Vielleicht Glücksmoment. They're normally used as bargaining chips. In exchange for them, you get objects of equal value. Okay. Hier geht's auch rein. I'd rather wait for daylight or at least the moon to become brighter. Gucken wir mal, was hier ist. Auch eine Dead Man in. Better leave it here to remind all Bone Town tourists of the beauty of Lafitte Park. Das ist so ein bisschen Monkey Island Musik. Das mag ich. Finde ich ganz cool. I have no idea how to use a quill. I can hardly write even with a normal ballpoint pen. Good evening, my good man. Good evening, boy. How can I help you? I need a place where I can stay tonight. It's your lucky day, boy. The Dead Man Inn is the best in the business. Very das good. Super. I almost feel at home. Are there any rooms available? I'm happy to check, but I have to warn you, we are in peak season. Hmm. In this one, we still have to clean up bloodstains. Room 08 is already occupied by me. I just have number 09 and 10 left. Then 09 would be perfect. That is also my lucky number. In that case, I can't do anything other than give you room 10. But I just told you I'd like to have 09. Everybody likes number nine. If I gave you that room, the next customer could only take number ten, which nobody likes. So they would leave. I could leave too, since I'm not pleased with that. Of course. Indeed, you have the look of someone who can go and choose another inn. For your information, Dead Man Inn is the most comfortable, as well as the only inn in a 40 kilometer area. You can also go find yourself another inn and come back tomorrow morning. I'm always here. So, room 09 or 10? Hmm. Mama by 9. I really want 09. Very well. Then I have another interesting offer for you. You can choose number 10, or you can take the door across the room and spend the night outdoors. Hmm, I'd say room 10 has suddenly become my favorite. Do you have money for the accommodation? Yes, I think I can pay for one night in this amazing resort. I don't know what a resort is, but it is sufficient that you have the money to pay. Here's the money. Kid, this isn't much. It will only be good enough for one night. I think that's enough. Good. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? Morgan. Willie Morgan. Morgan. That name sounds familiar to me. Have you already been in our lovely little town? Many years ago, but I was very young. Maybe you remember my dad, Henry Morgan. Henry Morgan, you said? Something springs to mind, but I think a long time must have passed. Yes, a long time. I'd say ten years since he disappeared. And why do we have the pleasure of seeing you again in Bone Town? Definitely for the hospitality. I agree. 
Here at the Dead Man Inn, the customer is of the utmost importance. I have no doubt about it. Now I have to get back to my job. Help yourself to the key to room number 10. Thank you. Once you are settled in your room, you'll find a pre-printed form. I need to complete the check-in. Bring it back as soon as you have filled it out. All right, thank you. Thanks, and goodbye. Na, ja, so ein kleiner Stoffel. Naja. You chose room number 10. It's the only key you can take. Oh. Technically, it wasn't exactly a choice. It doesn't change the fact that you can only take the key to room number 10. All right. Schade, schade. Ich hätte gerne mal geguckt, was der neuen ist, dass er mich da nicht reinlässt. Dann gehen wir mal nach oben. Hello, boss. It's me. You won't believe this. Henry Morgan's son just showed up here. Henry's son? Why did he come here? He hasn't said too much about the reason for his visit. What do you want me to do? Do I warn Bob? Yes. Standard procedure. Okay. As soon as the kid comes back here, Bob will take a good look at the belongings of the young Morgan. Sure, boss. I'll keep you posted. See you later. Übler Typ, ey. Hätte ich jetzt nicht mitgerechnet. If I take it down, the innkeeper would surely notice. It's locked. Those eyes make me feel quite uncomfortable. I don't need it. Better not go inside. If the innkeeper finds out, I'd be concerned for my safety. Yeah, genau. Ist ja sein Zimmer. I'd rather admire it on this wall. There's no need to take it with me. Locked. I want the other guests to enjoy these works as well. Dann mal gucken, ob der 10 Schlüssel vielleicht auch 9 passt. It fits perfectly. It was a good try, but unfortunately the key doesn't turn. I can't open room 09 with the key for room 10. Schade. It really belongs here. I wouldn't want to upset the symmetry of this place. I guess it leads outside, but right now I have other priorities. A peculiar scent. I wouldn't say it's good, but at least it adds a different touch to the place. Sehr gut. Alles, was wir sammeln können, ist mal like gut. A system. Better complete the check-in. I wouldn't want the innkeeper to accuse me of using a service that still doesn't belong to me. Schade, nee. Bett irgendwie? Nee. <lacht> Kamin? It's summer. It doesn't make any sense to heat up an already warm room. Better not waste it. First, I have to fill in this form, and then I can use the services of the room. I haven't got a pen with me, and can't see one around. Better go back to the innkeeper and ask for more info. Okay, ich habe eigentlich ein bisschen Schiss nach unten zu gehen, muss ich sagen. I don't think I should touch anything. Nicht, dass der Typ that yellow tape does oder not oder? bode well. Wir haben auch gar keine andere Wahl, irgendwie was zu machen. Okay, wir können mal versuchen, Schlüssel 10 hier in Zimmer 8 zu machen. Ich kann nicht 08 mit dem Key zu Raum 10 öffnen. Schade. Besser nicht es Es ist locked. 
On the key, there's a big 10. I don't think it's a master key. Behind that door is the orderly's room. Schade, hätte ja klappen können. Dann könnte auf Wiedersehen, ist doch blöd, weil ich habe doch gesagt, ähm, äh, er hat doch oben gesagt, er hat keinen Kugelschreiber und er wollte den Gastwirt fragen, ob er den Kugelschreiber bekommt. Thanks and goodbye. Hm. Vielleicht müssen wir das so machen. I better take it to the innkeeper. I need to do that to use the room. I'm back with the form you talked about, but I haven't got a pen with me and I still have to fill it out. Doesn't matter. Give it to me so I can write the essential data down. Thank you. Name and surname. Your memory is a bit spotty. I'm Willie Morgan. Sorry, kid. You know how it is. Age, place, ja, weiß es ganz genau, wer ich bin. You seem like a different person so now. Kinder and more friendly. Maybe I left you with a bad impression before. I'd like to make things right now. Did you hear that too? Uh, hear what? There are a lot of noises in this inn. Did you hear it now? It's probably some little animal. The one who made that sound must be a big one. And how? What now? Did you hear that noise again? Yes, but I don't think you should be worried. It's normal. In fact, I think it's finished now. How can you be so sure? It happens all the time. As soon as you open a door, drafts let the wind through and it does funny things. Okay, what else do you need? I'd say I'm okay with this. I have everything I need. Only name and surname? Here in Bone Town, we need very little information. The rest will fall right into place. Okay, now I must get back to work. Me too. I'm very busy. With what? Okay, thank you. Um... Das Menü, was wir uns angucken können. Take it and deprive the next tourist of those delights? That sounds crazy to me. Die Frage, ob wir jetzt nach oben gehen. Wir machen es einfach mal. Ich kann mir nicht vorstellen, dass wir hier oben jetzt irgendwas anderes noch ähm, ändern oder so, aber wenn wir mal trotzdem gucken. Oh my god. Oh, doch. And to think that according to the innkeeper, it was just a little animal. Luckily, I always keep the important things with me. Never trust anyone. Dad was right. I better warn the innkeeper. Oh, What the hell happened here? A very strong draft ransacked my room. You should be more careful about leaving the door open. Hurricanes are frequent this time of year. Summer hurricanes localized into one room in particular? You can't rule anything out. Otherwise, what do you think happened? I think I left the door open and you know, the board was so doof. the first time those animals have made trouble here at the Dead Man Inn. But according to you, is such a thing actually possible? Forget it. So how did this happen? How did you get here so fast? I heard screaming and thought there was a lady in danger. But I didn't even scream. Then it was my sixth sense, boy. The sixth sense of an old... Uh, the sixth is in, yeah, well. happened according to you. I guess yeah the last answer answer the whole room. I cannot be 100% sure, but all clues lead to that. Have they taken anything valuable? I put a bank check for a hundred thousand dollars in the safe. What safe? Hmm. <laughs> yes, I always travel with a gold bar. Yes, of course. And do you usually leave it in hotel rooms as a tip? I am extremely generous. My wedding ring, it was worth a fortune. How old is your wife? That is rude. 
You don't ask a lady her age. I have all my valuable things on me. Better this way. The Dead Man Inn is the most comfortable in the area, but it doesn't have any insurance in the event of theft, disappearance, or death. I was lucky it was just a theft. Unfortunately, there have been many such cases in Bone Town lately. Seeing the current condition of this room, can I have room 09 now? I already explained that I can't. I'm awaiting a huge influx of tourists in the next few days, and I need that room. If you could wait just a few minutes, I will clean everything up like it was before. Then, as compensation, I won't make you pay from tomorrow night on. Actually, I just wanted to stay for tonight. It'd be enough if you returned the money I already gave you. Boy, don't push it. That is my offer. Take it or leave it. Your kindness astounds me. Seems I can't do anything other than accept it. Wise choice. Now, if you can clear out, I have to clean up the room. If you give me the key back, I'll clean up everything and give it back to you at the entrance. I'll take a moment. Using the back door, I'll be at the entrance before you arrive. Thanks, my good man. Was ich so ein bisschen krass finde, ist, ähm, dass er uns nicht in die anderen Zimmer lässt. Hm. Dass er so komisch ist. Und was mich ein bisschen stört, ich kann nicht irgendwelche Fragen aussuchen, sondern ich muss alle Fragen bis jetzt beantworten. I guess it leads outside, but right now I have other priorities. I have to wait for the room to be cleaned up and for the innkeeper to give me the key. Better go back to the entrance. Ah, da kann ich ja unten die Schlüssel klauen, oder? Locked. Genau, das machen wir jetzt. Wir klauen uns in der Zeit, wo er reinigt, mal die Schlüssel. Er ist wieder unten. Ja. Und dann können wir ja wieder nach oben. Wie geht das denn? It's locked. I have to wait for the room to be cleaned up ich and for the innkeeper to give me the key. Better go back to the entrance. Ja, aber der ist doch schon unten, der Barkeeper. Was soll das denn? Ist das ein Fehler am Spiel, oder? Das ist ja merkwürdig. Have you already cleaned up the room? Yes, everything's in order again. Here's the key. Okay, thanks. Gerade er hat den Raum nur gereinigt, aber er muss den auch reparieren, ne? Also von daher. And you have all the services of the dead man in at your disposal. Like what, for example? The most important one is room service. And following that, the do not disturb. Thanks, and goodbye. Ich habe das mit den Fragen jetzt mal ausgelassen. Weil wir ja so und so irgendwie nicht so richtig erfahren, was los ist. Und äh, müssen alle Fragen immer anklicken. Ein bisschen merkwürdig. Aber okay, es ist halt so. Alter, wie die Türen aussehen, total schräg. Er hat wirklich alles wieder repariert. I saw straight away that he was a troublemaker. Better go check. <sighs> I wonder when the cleaning lady is going to fix this disaster. Actually, I wonder when I last saw the cleaning lady. I don't think I've seen her at work since our discussion about the hourly rate. I'm sure she'll come back. Nobody can refuse a dollar per hour. 
Better check what's happening in room number 10. Can I help you? I'm testing the room service. Excellent service. Also the price. Maybe I forgot to tell you that after a certain number of calls, an extra fee is triggered. No, this Cordial is as usual. It. If there's nothing else, I'll get back to my business. Everything's okay, thanks. Okay, das hat uns jetzt ja nichts gebracht. Hier können wir auch nicht schließen. Better not waste it. Better not waste it. Ja, bis jetzt haben wir noch nicht groß was gefunden irgendwie. Better not waste it. War das Aftershave vielleicht irgendwie? Better not waste it. I want the other guests to enjoy these works as well. Ja, da fällt mir eine Flasche runter. Sehr schön. Ja, hier ist nichts weiter. Okay, ich würde sagen, wir gucken erst draußen auch. Ob wir da irgendwas finden. I'd rather not go around the city at night. Aber nicht nachts in der Stadt know. herum, man weiß ja nicht. Okay. Wir mal, ob wir hier noch was übersehen haben. So, in der Danger Gefahr, do not cross. Okay, hier ist nichts weiter. und Aftershave Better not waste it. auch nicht funktionieren. Hier will er warten, bis es tags ist. I'd rather wait for daylight or at least Gucken, was er da findet. Äh Better leave it here. Other travelers might need it. Ich will auch nicht mal alles, was ich angucke, irgendwie mitnehmen. Reden wir noch mal mit ihm. Wir, der hatte ja noch zwei Fragen. How does the room service work? When the customers call, it is the duty of every good innkeeper to answer. I try to be as fast as possible, so as to not leave my position untended. If you don't see me at the counter, it's because some impediment me to use the back door. There are a lot of steps to get there. Going down is not a problem and speeds up my movement. But climbing really slows me down. Thanks, that seems clear to me. What's the do not disturb? It's this amazing object. Only paper of the highest quality for <laughs> our customers. <laughs> With the writing, okay. do not disturb, in giant letters. You just have to hang this on the door. And I'll know you don't want to be disturbed. Here, take it. Okay, we have a new Gegenstand. Thanks, very useful. Can you repeat how the room service works? When the customer... I tried... If you don't... There are a lot of... The climbing... Thanks, that seems clear to me. Thanks, and goodbye. <sighs> Vielleicht können wir dieses Bitte die Stirnschild auch woanders ranpacken. Let's see if I can. Ah, 
Ah, der öffnet damit die Tür. Das war mal eine Alternative. Gucken, was wir hier so schönes finden. Toilettenpapier, Pümpel, Warnschild. Things I have to do. Let's just hope it doesn't spill. I wouldn't really know what to use to get rid of this stink. Okay, das ist ja auch schon mal gut. Haben wir schon mehr eingesammelt, als ich dachte. So, aber sonst da irgendwas? Oh, ich sehe gerade, der Stream ist auch an. Na, das ist ja toll. <lacht> Wollte eigentlich nur das Game aufnehmen. Naja. Wohl auf den Knopf gekommen. So, schauen wir mal. Muss hier irgendwo hinstehen. Nee, dann gehen wir mal hier lang. Schild muss ich ja irgendwie mit einer Tür benutzen, weil wenn ich ich habe ja gar nicht die Möglichkeit, das hier auf den Flur zu stellen oder so. I don't think this is its purpose. I don't think this is its Nö. Gehen wir mal rein. I'm not a vandal. Smearing it everywhere won't solve anything. Aber ich will es auch nicht drauf schmieren. Ich dachte, man könnte das selbe sperren. Ähm, okay. I'm not a vandal. Smearing it everywhere won't solve anything. I'm not a vandal. Das funktioniert nicht. I don't think this is its purpose. So, was haben wir denn hier? Ein Aftershave haben wir. Das Aftershave im Badschild benutzt it. macht auch keinen Sinn. That might be. I'd rather not try experiments like that in my bag. What if there is a reaction of some sort? I don't want to ruin it. The stink from this bucket is already bad enough. It's filled with an oily Okay. Können hier noch mal den Eimer versuchen? I'm not a vandal. Smear nee, will er nicht. Tür 9. I'm not a vandal. Smear I don't think Was haben wir hier? Hier haben wir das Bild. Better not go inside. If the innkeeper finds out, I'd be concerned for my safety. Ach ja, er wohnt ja in Raum 8. I'm not a vet. Das will er auch nicht. Ah, hier ist ein Fleck. Very good. It looks like the cleaning has finally started. Bin mal gespannt. Just how I pictured it. I'd rather not touch that substance. Ein Aftershave Better not waste it. And now something classy. Ah, das hat funktioniert. Sehr gut. The contents haven't changed, but now there's a fresh musk ox scent. I'd rather not touch that substance. After all the work I did to give it a decent fragrance? No way. Okay, er hat jetzt das Warnschild aufgestellt. Einmal mit speziellen Duft. Äh, hier ist der Fleck. Mal rein, ob wir noch was anderes finden. Hier ist eine Glühlampe, hier ist ein Rohr. Hier haben wir einen Schrank, da ist aber nichts. Hier ist auch nichts. Ja. Ist hier noch ein Putzmittel oder so? Ne. Natürlich die Frage, was passiert. Na? Hier auf die Live-Ansicht, das gibt's auch nicht. So. Was passiert, wenn ich jetzt den Typen rufe? 
machen wir mal. Mal sehen, was passiert. Agile and silent like a ninja. I didn't even realize the cleaning lady finally got to work. Better not walk across it. I'd risk ruining this beautiful work. Oh, she also added the essence of musk ox. My favorite. I'll go around the back. That guy's gonna have to wait for a second. Okay. Nobody's coming. Better go check the entrance. Es kann sein, dass er jetzt versucht hinten reinzukommen und ich kann ihn unten mir einen Schlüssel klauen, weil er nicht da ist. Da bin ich ja mal gespannt. Ja, er ist nicht da, alles klar. This is my chance. Sehr gut, jetzt haben wir einen Schlüssel 9. Not touch anything. Mal, mal nach oben. Damit es sich auffällt, gehen wir jetzt in unser Zimmer. Locked. Und jetzt müsste er ja wahrscheinlich gleich reinkommen. Ich will mal gucken, ob. It has a specific purpose. It can't be used. Ja, wir draußen machen. I guess it leads outside. Ich habe gerade so ein bisschen Schiss, wenn ich die Tür jetzt öffne. Let's hope there won't be any other obstacles. At last. Dass er gleich um die Ecke kommt und sieht, was da passiert ist. Okay, Kamin, was haben wir denn hier schönes? I don't trust taking them. There's the chance they could have been eaten by mice, the owner of the place or the cleaning lady. In any of the three cases, I don't want to take them with me. Willkommensgeschenk. Klingel. Ist die Klingel betätige dann. That doesn't seem like a good idea. If the owner finds out I entered room 09, I don't think he'll be happy. If anything happens to me, the dead man in has no insurance to cover the damages. Das glaube ich auch, dass er da nicht erfreut ist. Das kann doch nicht alles sein hier. Muss da noch irgendwas Gutes, Wichtiges sein. So, hier haben wir den Kap... Das soll schon der Kamin sein. Kamin, hier ist ein Anker. Everything starts there in the warmth of a friendly place. I think my perhaps he hit some. Let's try searching there. What is this? This brick doesn't seem to be bonded to the fireplace like all the others, but I can't rip it out. It seems after all these years it is partially calcified back into the fireplace. I need something to grab hold of the cracks. Tja, sehr schön. I don't trust taking them. There's the chance that in any of the three cases, I don't want to take them. Here, get it wieder raus. Kann ich jetzt auch gar nicht mehr zugreifen? I'd rather not touch that substance. Mal gucken. Aber ich glaube, hier war nichts mehr weiter, ne? War eine Maus? Achso. Das schon hier Mauseloch wird angezeigt. Vielleicht finde ich jetzt bei mir irgendwas. It's summer. It hier findet da kein losen Stein. Ich brauche aber irgendwas, damit ich dann 
am Kamin irgendwas machen kann, aber ich habe ja nur die Schlüssel. Mehr habe ich ja gar nicht. Ich zieh mal am Seil. I already took what I needed. No sense in making that poor guy scamper anymore, but I'm very tempted. Okay. I'd rather leave it where it is. It really belongs here. I guess it leads outside. Hier will auch nicht raus. Das heißt, das Geheimnis muss hier irgendwo in der Nähe liegen. I want the other guests to enjoy the There's no need to take it with me. I'd rather admire it on this wall. So Zimmer 8 war ja auch verschlossen, ne? If the innkeeper oh. finds out, I'd be concerned for my safety. Bettvorleger. I don't trust taking them. There's the chance they could have been eaten by mice, the owner of the place, or the cleaning lady. In any of the three cases, I don't want to take them with me. Aber wenn ich mir das mal angucke, das Willkommensgeschenk, das sind ja abgebissene Äpfel. <lacht> Wie assi ist das denn? Ziegelstein. I can't do this. Maybe the temperature variations made it stick. I need some help. Tja, aber der hilft doch nur ein Feuer, ne? Ist klar, wenn ich hier oben nichts mehr bekomme, dann gehen wir mal nach unten. Ach, hier ist das Badezimmer, das habe ich ja gar nicht gesehen. I don't need it right now. Look what's inside. Somebody forgot a nail file. Better take it. It could come in handy. Ah, Nagelfeile. Die könnte für den Ziegelstein ganz wichtig sein. Tough luck. Fate really doesn't. Zimmer sieht auf jeden Fall erheblich besser aus als unseres. Nagelfeile. It seems to be working. I can take out the mortar holding the brick. Clever, a niche. Let's see what's inside. Oh, bin ich auch mal gespannt. It looks like an old library card. It belonged to my father, Henry Morgan. Last read book, Properties of Concrete. What did my father want to tell me? Okay, wir haben Bibliotheksausweis. After this amazing night, it'd be better to go back to my room and rest. First, I'd rather take the key to room 09 back to reception. I'd prefer to avoid having problems with the innkeeper. I have a really big day ahead of me tomorrow. Okay, sehr gut. Ja, tagsüber können wir in die Bibliothek. Macht hier mehr Sinn. I think the time has come to find out what Dad was working on. I better check the library card again. I'm sure Dad left me some other clue. Ah, das ist auch hell, das sieht man auch sehr schön. I'd rather not touch that substance. Genau. Aber ich muss hier wieder drauf klicken. Better leave the key here. I don't know if I want to avail myself of this service again tonight. I guess it's a good idea to ask for directions to the library. I wouldn't want to wander aimlessly through Bone Town. Excuse me, I need some information. Is there still a public library here in Bone Town? Sure, boy. It's one of the crown jewels of Bone Town. At least it is according to what Margaret, our librarian, tells us. I'm simply reporting what's said because I personally never go to such places. Strange. I would have bet the opposite. Could you tell me where it is? Turn left at the main square, just outside the door. Boy, if you don't want to get lost, use this. It's an old Bone Town postcard. But it was used as a tourist map during the golden years. It could be of use to orient yourself and move around Bone Town. 
Sehr schön. Thank you. Are you interested in something in particular? Just to reminisce a little bit. My father used to take me there all the time. Thanks. This and more for a paying customer. I better be going now. Ach, in, uh, hier gucken wir mal ran. Jetzt können wir auch in die dunkle Gasse bestimmt, vermute ich mal. I don't need copper. I don't want to take anything from here. It's still material in the public domain. Oh, er will wieder nichts mitnehmen. Oh, das sieht doch aus wie eine B Bibliothek. Dann geben wir ihr doch mal den Ausweis. The information I need is written on the card. Better not to disclose it. Don't trust anyone. Maybe what happened at the inn is just a coincidence, but I'd rather not risk it. Okay. I think it's the person running the library. Bücher, Bücher, Bücher. Gucken, ob wir mit ihr sprechen können. Good morning. Good morning. How can I help you? What happened to Bone Town in the last few years? The city has always held more allure at the expense of the small villages. And Bone Town is no exception. All the young people left when they had the chance, leaving the town in its current sorry state. It seems you know our town well, although you're so young. Can I ask your name? Of course. I'm Willie Morgan. I'm Margaret. Margaret Teach. But for those who attend the library, I'm just Margaret. Once there was a Morgan here in Bone Town too. Then he left, seeking fortune, and he became famous. But he never stopped coming back to visit Bone Town. I don't think you know him. You mean Henry Morgan by any chance? You surprise me, and that doesn't happen often. The point is, I know him very well. Henry was my father. I'm sorry, kid. I didn't know. Don't worry. It's been a while. Ten years ago, right? How do you know that? Kid, I'm the librarian. I basically remember everything that is put on paper. And Henry used to come Steine to the library These. a lot. Do you know anything about his disappearance? Unfortunately, only what I've read about. One night he was here in Bone Town. The morning after, it's like he vanished into thin air. Not a clue, not a trace. No letters or anything that could have guided the search parties to a solution. Do you know what he was working on in his final research? I don't know. He always read a lot, basically all the tomes you can find in here. And sometimes, at his request, I had to order books from other cities as well. Do you know if he had enemies, maybe? Henry? Let's be serious. I think there were very few men as affable as him. Okay, aber freundlich, aber kann ja trotzdem Feinde gehabt haben. Thanks for the information. Don't mention it. If I can be of any more help, just ask. Ja, Amerikaner, don't mention it. I need to consult one of your tomes. It's always a pleasure when someone wants to benefit from the services offered by our library. What are you looking for? Not very famous pirate songs by Threepwood. Unfortunately, that's one of the most requested books. There's even a waiting list to consult it. Grog and other delights. It hasn't been available since 1998, when Grog was declared a substance harmful to health, and the book was never reprinted again. Grog, are you kidding? It was a short-lived law, abolished immediately afterward to avoid a mass uprising. Luckily, don't get me started. A cup of grog in the morning is like a panacea. But in case it happens again in the future, I have put aside a personal supply. Okay, Eigenschaft von Beton. Oh, ja. what a surprise! It's not among the more popular in Bone Town. I guess this is the second consultation in more than 10 years. Doesn't it get the attention it deserves? Here in Bone Town, people don't read a lot, especially a book like that. I could never have managed to face it either. Where can I find it? I guess it's somewhere on the upper floor. You should recognize it easily. Thank you. Thanks, and goodbye. Thank you for visiting the Bone Town Library. If you need a specific book, you can ask me, Miss Teach, or just Margaret. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. Okay.
Okay, sie sagt, wir können das ja leicht finden hier. Ich bin mal gespannt. It's stuck under the huge number of books on the desk. I must find a way to free it. Kiste, mal gucken, was da drin ist. peculiar, to say the least. I'm pretty sure that I'd need a special key if I wanted to open it. How? Should I remove everything on top of it? There's no time. And above all, I wouldn't know where to put all these books. Ja, mehr wird gar nicht angezeigt. Schreibtisch, dickes Buch. Wenn ich I drücke, wir haben aber auch nichts. I don't think fixing my Wo das mit verwenden können? Ah, warte mal. Ich kann mir ja... It doesn't work. Ja, schade, ich dachte, die Knagefeile für die Kiste. It seems to be a very old... Gehen wir mal nach unten, vielleicht kann sie uns ja weiterhelfen. What's that old crate upstairs? It belonged to Charles Teach, a great great grandfather of mine. Many years ago we opened it with the help of a locksmith, but it was empty. Then the key got lost again, and nobody has any interest in it anymore. Maybe the locksmith has a copy of it somewhere. I never feel like throwing it away. It's still a family heirloom after all. Can you repeat what you know about my father? Henry had a natural gift with people, achieved success, loved reading, and he didn't have any enemies, at least here in Bone Town. Besides the fact that he disappeared ten years ago, I wouldn't know what else to say. I need to consult one of your tongues. It's always a pleasure when someone wants to benefit from the services offered by our library. What are you looking for? Properties of concrete. Oh, what a surprise! It's not, I guess this Doesn't it get the attention it deserves? Here in Bone Town, people don't. I could never. Where can I find it? I guess it's some. Thank you. So, ich müsste eines ihres Bücher Können Sie wiederholen? Bla bla bla. Thanks and goodbye. Thank you for visiting the Bone Town Library. If you need a specific book, you can ask me, Miss Teach, or just Margaret. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. So, dann gucken wir mal kurz, ob wir hier irgendwas finden. Bücher, Bücher. I have no time to. Also wenn er das nicht freiräumen möchte, das macht ja auch keinen Sinn. Was ist denn das hier für eine Konstruktion eigentlich? Hier ist eine Uhr. Bücher. It's stuck under the huge number of books on the desk. I must find a way to free it. Den Hammer habe ich ja nicht mehr, ne? Nö. I don't think fixing Better not ruin it. Also er möchte den Schreibtisch nicht leerräumen, er hat da keinen Bock und keine Zeit zu. Wir brauchen aber das dicke Buch. Das heißt, wir brauchen hier irgendeinen Hammer oder irgendeinen Gegenstand, dass wir dagegen kloppen können. Hier haben wir eine Kiste. Die Kiste können wir nicht öffnen. Okay, dann gehen wir mal raus und suchen draußen noch mal was. Wir haben ja noch so viele Orte, wo wir noch gar nicht geguckt haben. I don't need it. Better not. Even if I pick. Den Schrott möchte er sich nicht angucken. Poster. I don't need them. Okay, hier ist ein Museum. 
Hier ist ein Huhn, aber da können wir nichts machen. Tagesmenü. It wouldn't be nice if I took the only street sign for the local news. I have a strong and bone tap. Okay. It's like an ancient artifact. In poor condition, touching it would surely mean damaging it, even though time has already done its part. I don't think that dragging this bear. I don't see how the. I don't think there are any books here. Even if it's battered, I think I can make out the word restaurant. It's not time to enter there yet. I need to use the clue left by my dad first. Okay, da will er nicht rein. Das ist schon mal gut, weil das grenzt das Spiel ein bisschen ein. Das Museum. Wagenheber. Ah. I don't know how, but I hope it might come in handy. Sehr gut, mit dem Wagenheber können wir vielleicht oben die Bücher hebeln. At first glance, it appears to weigh over 100 kilos. Surely working out in the gym made me stronger, but I don't think it performed any miracles. There's a sign with the word museum, which rules out the pop. I'll go back there. Okay. Gehen wir mal zurück. Hey. Gehen mal nach oben und gucken mal, was der Wagenheber so bewirkt. I don't think I should use it on the book. Nehmen wir mal den Schreibtisch. Let's try. Ja, das war richtig. Super. It worked. Check out what we have here. Let's see what it is. It's another letter from my father. It's dated July 22nd, 2008, earlier than the other one. There's also a piece of paper that seems more ancient, but I can't figure out what it is. Better take a look right now. If dad did all this so that I'd find it, there must be something important. Okay, was haben wir denn? Ich hoffe, dass du es Warte mal. Dass du es bist, Willi, der diesen Brief liest. Ansonsten wäre meine Bemühungen umsonst gewesen. Meine letzten Nachforschungen haben bestätigt, dass Captain Kit und Reine Mannschaft einen großen Schatz gefunden haben. Ich weiß nicht, ob sie ihn versteckt haben, aber sie haben eine, was steht da, eine Kiste gezeichnet, die etwa, ne, eine Karte gezeichnet, die unter den Mitgliedern der Mannschaft aufgeteilt wurde. Von einem Hinrichtung hat Kit dieses Stück der Karte in einer, in seinem Zell, Zell, ach so, in seiner Zelle. Alter, das kann man schlecht lesen, ja. Ich habe es noch intakt finden können. Das bedeutet, dass die Karte nie wieder zusammengesetzt wurde und der Schatz noch irgendwo vergessen liegt. Und du findest dieses Stück der Karte zusammen mit einem Brief, ist natürlich ohne die anderen Teilen. So, bla bla bla. Meine Nachforschung nach sind die anderen Mitglieder nach Bauernfarm geflüchtet und haben dort eine Rückkehr ihres Kapitäns verfasst. Nachdem ich jahrelang mit dem Buch aus der Zeit gestöbert habe, entdecke ich nun endlich die Liste der Mannschaft. Finde die fehlenden Teile und erreiche den Schatz, bla bla bla. Okay. Now I understand what the piece of paper was that I found with the letter. Dad always performed great feats, but I never imagined he was looking for kids treasure. It has always been said that it was basically a legend. I don't remember the complete story exactly, but maybe the librarian can help me. And I have a list of names. Better start asking information of the townsfolk. Without attracting too much attention. I don't need my father's old library card anymore. Even if someone found it, it would be useless. I have the letter and the piece of map belonging to my dad. Okay, sehr gut. Wir haben einen Büchereiausweis von seinem Vater, haben wir erstmal abgegeben. Hm. Glück von der Karte. It's a piece of the map belonging to Captain Kidd. But I can't do anything with it if I don't find all the other eight pieces as well. Hm. Ich weiß nicht, ob wir mit ihr nochmal reden können. Was sie über meinen Vater irre mich. Ich irre mich oder sagen sie Namen 3. Am I wrong or did you tell me your name is Margaret Teach? That's correct. Do you know a man named Charles Teach? Your question surprises me. How do you know my great great grandfather? 
I'm doing some research on the genealogy of Bone Town, and I stumbled upon the Teach family. Yes, it's been several generations now since the Teaches settled in Bone Town. What can you tell me about Charles Teach in particular? He was the one who brought the name Teach here to Bone Town, but of his past, little is known. My great grandma told me that he was a former fisherman with a knack for books. This library is a donation he made to the city of Bone Town just before he died. After he arrived here in Bone Town, he devoted himself exclusively to reading, and many of these books were bought directly by him. He had so many of them that he basically founded the town library, which then became the family business for the following generations, too. And he didn't leave anything else apart from the books? All he left is stored on the upper floor, but it's mostly junk. The real treasure was his books. There's also an old crate without a key, but it looks empty. Tja, können Sie wieder irgendwas vom Vater wissen? Irre ich mich oder das haben wir? Kennen Sie vielleicht die Geschichte von... Ah. Do you by any chance know the story of Captain William Kidd? Sure, it is mostly a legend. In the golden era of piracy, Kidd stood out for his endeavors, if you could call them that. The endeavors of a pirate aren't exactly heroic most of the time. Anyway, his ship, the Adventure Galley, was supposedly filled with treasures when it suddenly disappeared. A few years later, in 1701, Kidd was captured and executed, but his ship and the crew were never found. What do you think happened? What always happened at that time, Kidd and his crew squandered all the loot, and to cover their tracks, they sold or even burned the ship. After this story, Kidd became legendary. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, and goodbye. Thank you for visiting the Bone Town Library. If you need a specific oh, book, you can ask me, Miss Teach, or just Margaret. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. Oh, we are being watched. Hmm, very strange. I have the feeling I'm being watched. Better be careful. You never know what can happen in Bone Town. Ah, jetzt geht er rein ins Museum. Okay. There's something written. Free. Maybe it will come in handy. Go ahead and take it. It will open both your heart and your mind. Some stickers to support Tom Rayleigh's cause are included as well. We also need your help to make this artist known. Thanks. Prisons, the story of Tom Rayleigh. Hmm, now I know why this book is free. It seems more like a series of rambling stories instead of a serious biography. Maybe there's just one bit of plausible information. Here it says that Tom Rayleigh's past is dark. He was repeatedly put in prison in Bone Town for being drunk and disorderly. The stickers are nice, but the book is useless to me. Okay, it's... I'd rather put this book back in its place. Probably someone else will find it more interesting. <laughs> Hm. Nö. Okay, jetzt haben wir aber Aufkleber, ne? Oder? Brief, Nagelfeile, Karte. Ja, genau. I don't think it would come in handy. I already have a memory that may never be erased from my mind. I don't think I'll need that too. It's part of the museum exhibition. Better leave it where it is. Verdächtiger Charakter. <lacht> so verdächtig finde ich den gar nicht. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Um, can I do something for you? I am very busy and I'd hate to lose time. Are you the museum janitor? Uh, <lacht> uh, no. I'm the curator, as well as the only artist in Bone Town. Remarkable. Busy doing what? Oh, uh, I don't think you'd understand. You don't look like you have an open mind like us artists. Please, I'm very curious. Uh, no. Hmm. Come on, share it with me. Um, uh, no. Okay, I don't think it was that important anyway. Um, 
not important. Are you kidding me? My research is, uh, um, of vital importance for Bone Town and its history. Research for peace of mind? Uh, funny. Finding himself? Uh, no. Ja, was denn nun? What kind of research? Um, I'm trying to clear the name of one of the most controversial figures of Bone Town. Who are we talking about? Tom Rayleigh. He spent almost his whole life in here. Was he a researcher too? Uh, no. Uh, this was a prison once. They say that Rayleigh, because of his alcohol problems, spent ah, most of his summer time in here. here. That's in every town there's a drunkard. Um, no. Tom wasn't a drunkard. His artistic life was very troubled. My research proved that. Have you already done other research on Rayleigh? Um, yes. Uh, you can find everything about it in the book I wrote on Rayleigh. You can take a copy if you like. Already done. Very illuminating. Really? What passage impressed you most? Hmm. When he talks about his family life? Here in Bone Town, he never had a family, but everybody considered him part of the city. Just what I meant. How come you're so obsessed with Tom Rayleigh? Um, it's not that I'm obsessed. Tom Rayleigh was an artist, just like me. Some of the objects in here are his works. But, as with all misunderstood geniuses, he had a devil inside. Um, some people claim that, in the midst of a drunken stupor, he could produce his best works. But once he was sober, he destroyed those works because he deemed them not to have been done by him. Alter, and I, hat aber eine ganz schöne Störung. a genius myself, now want to clear his image. If you say so. And how do you think you can do that? Uh, I'm trying to recover all the works left by the master. And in the meantime, I'm tracing Rayleigh's great-grandsons by delivering the only thing he left here in Bone Town. Money? Um, an artist with money? I don't think that's possible. His dignity? Uh, no. Pfft, ja, Zahnbürste. A toothbrush? Um, don't joke about that. We artists are not interested in personal care. I'm glad to hear that. I'm talking about that envelope. What are the contents of the envelope? Um... I don't know. It's an official document classified by the police and kept here in the museum. It says for Rayleigh's heirs. I can't open it. It would go against my artist code of ethics. And probably against some laws as well. Um, yes. I'm looking for Rayleigh's heirs to deliver it. So I might know what happened to Rayleigh once he left Bone Town too. What are the contents of the envelope? Um, I don't know. It's an official document classified by the police and kept here in the museum. Okay, die Frage haben wir schon it says for Rayleigh's heirs. I can't open it. It would... And probably against... Um, so I might... Goodbye. Um, yes. Goodbye. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Have you seen what is written on the envelope? It's the property of Tom Rayleigh's heirs. But I'm one of his great-grandsons. I'm a researcher, as well as a capable artist. Bring me concrete proof and you can have the envelope. Until then, the envelope will remain museum property. Hmm. Okay. Better not. It's a unique piece. Better not. Better not. Ja mit der I don't think fixen. fixing my. I don't want to ruin. Sonst noch irgendwas? Hier das der Museumskurator selber. Okay, wir müssen da irgendwas finden, um ihn entweder abzulenken. 
I don't think sticking them there would be useful. I don't think sticking them there would be useful. I don't think. I have no time for. Then go here first. Out. Mal, mal, ob wir jetzt hier reinkommen. Ah, alles klar. Good morning. Good morning, and welcome to the one-eyed Jack of the Bellamy family. I glimpsed the menu outside the club. What's your specialty? Chicken, kid. Delicious, free-range chicken. Only chicken? Absolutely, kid. Chicken is our main ingredient. Healthy, genuine, and it's not fattening, so you can eat as much as you want. We Bellamy's have invented more than one. A diverse menu, then. How's business going? Money is not important to the Bellamy's. Our forefather Eddie Bellamy left us a little nest egg to pursue. And what would that be? Find the chosen one. In Auserwählten suchen sie das wie bei Star Wars. Are you a great grandson of Eddie Bellamy? Absolutely, kid. My great 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 grandfather was the best cook of the Seven Seas. He was the one who founded the first One-Eyed Jack, and since then we've come a long way. Yeah. Do you mean that you've expanded all over the world? Absolutely not. Bone Town has always been the one and only place where you can taste one of our delicacies. Do you mean that you've introduced new original recipes? Oh, absolutely not. Nobody can improve Grandfather Eddie's recipes. A distant cousin tried to do that, starting his own company, the Mix Something. But I haven't heard about it since, so I don't think he had our luck. Surely not your luck, yeah. I don't get it, but it's okay anyway. What do you mean by chosen one? The family legend says that Eddie Bellamy, progenitor of the Bellamys, learned every recipe on how to cook chicken. But his efforts in the kitchen seemed not to be appreciated by customers, who considered his recipes mere common chicken, bumpkins. So he created the only meal that was not chicken-based, the Bellamy cookie. The patrons seemed to be thrilled by the extraordinary innovation. But Eddie, given the indifference his cooking received before that, imposed one condition. Only the chosen one could taste the cookie from the Bellamy recipe. And since then, from generation to generation, the search has kept going. Which cookie are we talking about? The sacred cookie, contained in that glass hmm. case. The highly good case, okay. Intact. How long has it been in that case? Since the day it was baked by Eddie Bell, and according to legend, it seems Eddie found a recipe for a pastry that could last for centuries without losing its fragrance. Do you mean that in all these years, nobody was able to earn the right? Absolutely not. That is the original cookie. Never has another one been baked. How can you recognize the chosen one? That'll be what test? The menu, kid. The menu. Only the worthy will listen to the entire menu without blinking an eye. And at that point, he'll have earned the cookie, along with honor and fame. Very epic. Where does the test take place? At the table. When you feel ready, take your seat, and we'll see if you might be the chosen one. But don't get your hopes up. We're extremely selective. Thanks and goodbye. Thanks to you, and enjoy your stay in Bone Down. Okay. Was haben wir denn sonst noch hier? Ein Glasbehälter. I can't open this case without the right key. The lock seems to be tamper-proof. I don't think fixing my nails would improve the outcome of... Hmm. Better not. Ist hier noch? Ach, hier geht's noch nach oben. I see you want to prove yourself. When you're ready, call me. I'll be right there. I feel ready. Very well. I'm coming. Let's begin the test. 
We'll soon know if you're the chosen one or just another common person. Our menu includes mushroom chicken, algae chicken, egg chicken, spicy chicken, sweet corn chicken, pepper chicken, olive chicken, chicken and vinegar, blah, blah, chicken, blah, 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 free range, blah, 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 blah herb crusted, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Kid. Hey, kid. The test is over. I'm sorry. I thought you were different from the others. For now, you're not the chosen one. And yet I was sure I'd be the one. I see. When you're... I don't think sticking them... I don't think fixing my... Hmm. I feel ready. Very well. I'm coming. Let's begin the test. We'll soon know if you're the chosen one or just another common person. Our menu... Mushroom chick... Sweet corn chicken... Free range... Herb crust... Hmm. Kid, hey kid, the test. Okay, uh, schläft er mal wieder ein. I'm sorry. I thought you were different from the others. For now, you're not the chosen one. And yet I was sure I'd be the one. Can you tell me about the chosen one? The chosen one is the person who. Thanks. And goodbye. Thanks to you, and enjoy your stay in Bone Down. I don't think that dragging is. Das war ja die Gasse, wo ich äh, nicht reingehen wollte. Oh. Hallo. Mann, 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 was hat das denn? Okay, den Brunnen haben wir. Ich glaube nicht, dass wir mit, fix dass wir im Brunnen irgendwie was machen können, groß. I don't think so. I don't need copper. Können wir ihn ja mal ausfragen, ja, ob er noch irgendwas weiß. Good morning, good sir. Good morning. How was your night? There were moments I thought I wouldn't survive. Then I saw a ray of light and realized that the worst was over. These are just some of the thrills you can experience here at the Dead Man Inn. What happened to Bone Town in the last... I remember when I used to come here... I think it's just progress. The young prefer... It's just down to us from the older generation to keep up the... By welcoming the incoming tourists with love and prof... I'd have to dispute that, actually. <sighs> Thanks, and goodbye. <sighs> I don't think sticking... Okay, 
Okay, ich kann auch nach oben, das ist gut. Better not go inside. Bringt das denn immer? Was ist denn das? Nee, nee, nee. Ah, wir kommen hier noch an. I don't think I should touch it. I already took what I needed. No sense in making that poor guy scamper anymore, but I'm very tempted. Okay, wir sollen ihn nicht ärgern. I guess it leads out. Die Frage, was wir da mit den Aufklebern anfangen können. Hm. Wir können ja mal nach vorne gehen. Vielleicht sind da ja. Ah, hier, hier waren wir auch noch nicht. Vielleicht sind da noch andere Personen, aber... Reden wir mal mit Steve. Good morning, Steve. Good morning. I'm sorry, do, do we know each other? It's been a while, hasn't it, Uncle Steve? Uncle Steve? There was only one child that called me that. It can't be. Willie, is that really you? Yes, Steve, it's really me. Willie Morgan. Son, how are you? So All good, Steve. Thank you. Tell me, what brought you back to Bone Town? It's been years since the last time I saw you. I've been missing Bone Town. I can hardly believe it. Lately, nobody ever comes back to Bone Town. For the anniversary of my dad's disappearance, it's been ten years. I was thinking of swinging by the cemetery. Already ten years? Time seems to have stopped in Bone Town since then. I sought refuge in my job to forget. I will see your mother. Does she know you're here? I told her I was leaving. She's away on a business trip. How is she? I tried many times to contact you in recent years, but she never answered. It was very tough for her too. She preferred to make a clean break from the past, concentrating on me and her job. Bone Town is a memory that still hurts a lot. I understand. Do you remember what happened to my father? It's always painful for me to talk about Henry. We grew up almost like brothers. Before he decided to leave and become one of the most famous archaeologists in the world. Despite his work, he always found the time to come back here to the family and to meet his old friends. Unfortunately, his disappearance is still shrouded in mystery. The night before that fateful day, we went out together. We said goodbye in front of the old inn where he was staying. The next morning, I stopped by to say hello, but there was no trace of him. His room was intact. The innkeeper said he didn't see him going out. That's all I know. Since then, I've been racking my brain to understand what happened. But Henry seems to have vanished into thin air. Just like Mom always tells me. Do you, by any chance, know what Dad was working on? I wouldn't know. Whenever he'd come to Bone Town, he told us fantastic stories of the places he explored. We felt like we were there with him. Dad was always an exceptional narrator. When he told me a story before bed, I couldn't sleep right away, but instead spent a good part of the night fantasizing. He used to do the same thing with us here in Bone Town. Everyone was enthralled by him. See you later. Come back whenever you want. You'll always find me here. Thanks. I don't think that ransacking this paperwork will help me in any way. Better ask for permission. I'd risk looking like a thief. Better ask for... Can I borrow a stamp? Of course, as long as you use it responsibly. Even if they're dated back, they're the official stamps of Bone Town. Thanks, I'll use them well. Actually, when you're finished with your stuff, you can help me out with that stamp. I have a lot of paperwork to authenticate. Gladly. Ja, vielleicht können wir da irgendwas abstempeln und dann beweisen, dass wir ähm, irgendein Nachfahre sind oder wie auch immer. See you later. Come back whenever you want. You'll always find me here. Thanks. 
Ja, der eine Typ wollte ja irgendwie Nachweis haben, dass wir Nachfahrer sind. I might need one. I'll take the more worn one. The stairs don't seem safe. I don't want to risk hurting my Mehr möchte er auch nicht machen. Hm. Oh, Drugstore. Apotheke. Schraubt er sich denn da rein? Smarties oder? Good morning. Good morning. What can I do for you? I was just browsing. No problem. Uh, but please don't touch anything without my permission. I've arranged everything so that it will make my work easier. What work? I'm developing a recipe that will make me rich. I just have to find the final ingredients. What are you working on exactly? It's a recipe of my own concoction for a new non-alcoholic drink. As soon as I find all the ingredients, I'll patent it. I've written every there's still some ingredients missing to complete. Then I'm sure my life will take a turn. Can I help you somehow? Hmm, let me think. Uh, oh, maybe there's something you could do. I need to go to the warehouse to get some things I couldn't find anywhere else in town. But I need a specific plant that grows here in these surroundings. It's a plant with white flowers that only grows in places exposed to the sun, but also with enough moisture. No problem. I'll see if I can pick one up and bring it to you. No, 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 no. It's, it's extremely delicate. Any contact with the acids in human skin could ruin its essence. You should use specific instruments to pick it up and carry it. If you're willing to give me a hand, I can provide you with all you need. What would I get in return? Fortune and glory, kid. Fortune oh, and glory. Das ist auch mal nett. Kein Geld. Epic. All right. Very well. Help yourself to the container in the trowel near the door. Once you've identified the plant, use the trowel to put it in the container. I figured as much. Thanks. It will also take me a while to find what I need in the warehouse. Uh, we'll meet back here. All right. Goodbye. See you soon. When you find the plant with the white flowers, make sure to be as gentle. I'll do my best. I better be going now. Hmm. The owner was clearly in a great hurry to leave. It only works with five cent coins. Videospiele? Naja, auch nicht. Das ist mein 3D-Drucker. Ausgabeautomat. It doesn't work like that. It's the same printer we use at school. Here on the side is a multi-format reader. It can read USB sticks, CDs, etc. And it's also a scanner to read data directly from images. Once all the info has been inserted into the reader, it'll be converted into data, which will be passed on to the printer. Only then will it be ready to begin operating. And dirt. I also saw a 3D printer. Yes, it's the latest fashion. I decided to expand my market. By offering different products in the same store, I have more chance to succeed. Drinks and 3D printers? I see you also grasp the symbiosis of the two things. Hm. I wasn't exactly paying you a guy. compliment. This is another of my brilliant ideas. You can use it if you want. The first time it's free, just to encourage the customer to come back. And many people use it here in Bontown? Some pass by here to see it, supposing it's an aquarium. But as soon as they recognize its potential, a universe of opportunity will open up to them. I like your enthusiasm. I'll make good use of it too, then. It's at your disposal when you want it. 
Hi. Hello. Is this supposed to be a pub? It is. It's a full-fledged pub. You have the opportunity to select different drinks of your choice. And it's all automated. At first sight, it looks more like a garage with vending machines. Details. This is the few, and I offer what they want. Maybe you should have invested a bit more in the interior design, like moving some tires, or... I appeal to a different clientele. A bit in the style of Dine and Dash, but more like Drink and Dash. Well, if that is your philosophy, I'd say you've done a great job. I know. Thank you. So... Goodbye. See you soon. Wir sind Reifen. Useless. I already have all the energy I need. I'm not thirsty. I'm not thirsty. It doesn't work like that. It's the same printer we use at school. Here on the side is a multi-format reader. It can read USB sticks, CDs, etc. And it's also a scanner to read data directly from images. Once all the info has been inserted into the reader, it'll be converted into data, which will be passed on to the printer. Only then will it be ready to begin operating. Okay. Haben wir denn irgendeinen Datenträger? Nee. I don't want to waste it like that. I don't want to waste... I don't want to waste... I don't want to wait. So, jetzt geht's noch mal weiter nach unten. Blacksmith. Aber ich würde sagen, wir machen an dieser Stelle erstmal Schluss. What could I do with a cart with a couple of wheels missing? Ich werde mich langsam müde. Wie spät haben wir's? 1 Uhr 39. <lacht> So, das reicht für heute. So, wenn ich auch erstmal den Stream. Und dann stoppen wir auch die Aufnahme.